Namaskar. I'm Suruchi Das and you're watching Rhythm News. India has always been rich in art and literature, producing talented artists in music, dance and drama. Our artists passionately showcase our culture and history through their work. Theatre, once a key medium, has now largely shifted to movies. Both classic and modern films have portrayed our culture, especially historic events, to the world. In the modern era, several directors are creating films on important historic events in order to make people aware about the actuality of particular events. Recently, acclaimed actress and director Kangana Ranawat released the trailer for her film Emergency. However, the movie has faced multiple setbacks owing to several protests against the release of the movie. This backlash has led to delays in the film's release. Emergency is a film focused on the period when Prime Minister Indira Gandhi declared a nationwide state of emergency. During this time, the government exercised extensive powers, suspending elections, censoring the media and suppressing civil rights. Many opposition figures, activists and journalists were arrested and mass sterilization programs were enforced in order to control the population. This era is remembered as one of the darkest chapter of Indian democracy. Announcing the delay, Kangana Ranaut expressed her anguish over the same. The delay comes after the Bombay High Court denied immediate relief, ruling that it cannot currently direct the Central Board of Film Certification to issue a release certificate. This follows an order from the Madhya Pradesh High Court on September 18. As per CBFC lawyers, the film will remain unreleased until further notice. Meanwhile, the Madhya Pradesh High Court directed the opposing groups to submit their objections to the CBFC regarding the film. Senior counsel Venkatesh Dhon, representing Z Studios, accused the CBFC of unlawfully and arbitrarily withholding the film's certification citing an email dated August 29 as evidence. Commenting on the issue, renowned author and political analyst Anand Ranganathan criticized the CBFC for stifling free speech, emphasizing that the board's role is to classify films into government-sanctioned categories like U and UA, etc., not to censor them. He further argued that censorship is increasingly subjective, as anyone can be offended by anything in today's world. Ranganathan also highlighted that Congress has previously banned numerous films to serve their political interests. The controversy surrounding the movie Emergency underscores the urgent need to address the issue of freedom of expression. Films are a powerful tool to connect with the public and raise awareness. As it's often said, movies serve as a mirror to society, reflecting uncomfortable truths. But what happens when films or content on OTT platforms are censored based on preferences of a particular community of a political agenda? The line between public preference and public interest becomes blurred, raising the question, who truly has the authority to determine what content could lead to a law and order situation?